Hi, thanks for joining me. I'm Aline. I'm a jewelry designer and this is going to be another edition of my Playing with Fire series, which is basically my series about what I do in the workshop. Now today we're actually not going to play with fire. We're going to play with the rolling mill and I'll get, get a close-up of that here in just a second. Um, first of all, let me start by saying this is mainly to give you an overview of how I create my designs. It's not a step-by-step -step tutorial to help you do it yourself just just so you're aware of that but we are going to show you some stuff so this first of all is one of the textures uh, that we're going to create and this is going to be a pendant here i'm working on it's still got a lot to go but it just wanted you to at least see the texture now i'm going to move the camera down and well let me show you the plates first these are what we call steel plates these are uh, two that i've accumulated uh, recently and what I like about them, first of all, I love the pattern, which you'll see in a minute, but I also like the size of them. Most of the plates I've had until now are just a little bit, not quite as tall, let's say. And um, I love having this because it helps me when I'm making cuffs and some other things. Now I'm gonna move the camera down so you can see the rolling mill. This is the rolling mill right here. And I've had this for, oh my gosh, maybe 20 years. Uh, it's high quality steel. It's uh, actually made in England. And what I'm going to do is we're just going to work with copper today. I've already got this calibrated to work with this, which is a 24 gauge piece of copper. And then when I do the other piece, I'm, which is a 22 gauge, which is just a tiny bit thicker, I'm going to recalibrate it. But uh, for right now, I want to show you. Pull up the handle. This is ready to go. I'm going to put it right in, just right on top of the plate. And you'll see what happens. It's going to come, this is going to start to bend. I usually, because this is a bigger piece, I start pulling it back a little because I don't want it to hurt anything there. There we go. Yeah, it's doing good. Yeah. And then when it's done, that pops out. And here's the plate. I mean, uh, this is going to be so beautiful when I do something with it. This is a little thinner material, so it may only be used for uh, backing for earrings or something like that. Um, because I wouldn't want that on a pendant. It's too thin. Now, this next piece I'm going to do is a 22 gauge, which, as I mentioned, is just a little bit um, thicker. So I'm going to move this a little until it actually works. Come on. Ah, that's just a little too tight. Okay. I normally just play with this to get it where I want it to go because it's just easier. There we go. Now, this is coming through. You can see I'm also just put bending that down a little bit so it doesn't I guess it doesn't really matter if it goes up, but I like to make sure it's going to be good. Ah, there we go. And then you can see this pattern. And this, oh my gosh, this is just so beautiful. So anyway, this is just to give you an overview. Uh, as I say, this is made with high quality steel. And this particular one I bought is made in England. And it should last probably another couple lifetimes. So I hope this gives you an overview of what I do when I'm in my studio. Uh, I appreciate it if you like, and also if you want to subscribe. I'm doing um, several on this kind of a thing where I'm showing you what I'm doing, but also a lot on the different gemstones. So uh, I appreciate that, and there will be more information down below if you want to view some of my jewelry. So I really appreciate it. Thank you.